welcome to my very first quick play. I decided that we sh we're going to start out with uh, Blizzard to, to kick things off on the channel. Uh, the reason why is because for as long as I've been gaming on a Mac, I have been able to play Blizzard games uh, pretty well. Uh, Blizzard's been very, very good at not only putting out a PC version of their games, but also a Mac version of their games at the same time and offering the same support for both of them. And I am a very, very big fan of Blizzard in general. So today we're going to check out some Hearthstone. Okay, It's a game that I play a lot. I really, really love it as a person who really loves card games. Um, we will be checking out other Blizzard games as well, like Heroes of the Storm, Diablo 3, World of Warcraft, and things like that. Um, at the moment, that's not really going to work out as well, only because the, 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 pro, the program I use to record the software doesn't really want to work with the other Blizzard games as well. So until I get that figured out, you know, we'll have to put that on delay. But uh, without any delay, let's go ahead and hop into some Hearthstone. All right, guys? All right, guys. So here we are in Hearthstone. So I thought I would just kind of take you around the interface here a little bit, kind of explain what all the game modes are in here. So as you can see right here, we have play mode, solo adventures, the arena, and tavern brawl. So your play mode basically is consisted of two different things. You have your casual play, where you can play against other people just very casually. And you also have your ranked mode in there as well. Um, and ranked mode, you know, as it sounds, you just defeat people, you move up in rank, see who's the best. Um, and actually, Blizzard actually uses ranked mode when you're playing Hearthstone when you reach what's called something called Legend um, to kind of determine if you're like kind of like the cream of the crop with Hearthstone and playing in different tournaments. So uh, that's your play mode. Uh, your solo adventures right here uh, consist of one, you playing against uh, in practice mode against bots. And then the other thing is the thing that Blizzard has done within about the past year or so is they've come out with these little mini solo adventures. They've based them off of the raids uh, from World of Warcraft. So we've had Next Ramus, and we've had uh, just recently Black Rock Mountain. And uh, basically, you go through a wing. Uh, the wing can consist of anywhere from like three to four bosses. You beat a boss, you get a card. You beat the wing, you get a card, which is typically a legendary card. Um, very fun, um, especially when you're fighting a boss. They have different mechanics, different cards, and stuff, and you got to figure out the puzzle basically to figure out how to beat them. So those are always really fun, and it's also a guaranteed way to get a legendary card too. So that's why a lot of people like to play, especially me. Um, the arena, which is right here, which I am all flat, uh, to be honest with you guys. Um, arena basically, if you're used to other card games like Magic the Gathering, um, it's basically draft mode. Uh, you pick your class, and then you are presented with three cards. You choose a card, and you keep doing that until you build a deck. You go against other people that have done the same thing, and if you lose three, then you're out of arena. Um, then based off of how many games that you won, you get prizes. Um, so a lot of people like to go in arena because it's a good place to get more gold to buy things. You can get dust to craft cars. They'll give you card packs, um, all kind of different things like that. So that's your arena. And this tavern brawl, which is pretty new. I mean, it's been out for a little while, but it's still fairly new play mode. Um, is where Blizzard actually presents you with uh, different types of rules you have to follow. Sometimes you have to build your own deck, sometimes they build a deck for you. And it could be something that is something like you summon a spell and it summons a minion for you, a minion dies and it brings back another minion for you. Um, there was one where everybody had unstable portal which means that you could summon just random in, uh, random minions and stuff. It was, you know, it's pretty fun. Um, so those are all your play modes right here. Um, this is quick play, so basically what I'm going to do to show you the game is I'm just going to go into uh, the solo adventure and just do like normal practice mode here. I mean, bring this up here and I'll play with my mech mage here. Yes, I am one of those people. If you know anything about Hearthstone, I'll just play like a shaman. I'm just basically showing you the game, um, kind of showing you how it kind of works the mechanics if you've never really seen Hearthstone before or anything like that. So that's basically um, what this is. Okay, so. Gina, We're basically going against, uh, as you can see up here, the innkeeper, which is basically a bot. You asked for it. And so, if I don't talk for a while, guys, don't worry about that. I'm just kind of, kind of thinking. This, this Hearthstone is kind of a strategy. I kind of like to, kind of think a little bit. So, let's see. I think I want to. I'll just keep all these. 
Got a couple good turns here that I can do. And I also get the coin as well, so. Alright, so that's my turn. Um, I'm just gonna pass. Right now. Um, another thing too is the boards that you get will be different boards and they're all interactive. Um, like see a little gong over here, I can hit the gong. And with that I can plant this and it'll grow back. So he has some nice interactive boards around here. It's nice to kind of just go around and figure out what does what around here. So um hello, hello, hello. Got too, so Yeah, the bots usually like to uh, zero power here. His is to summon like a random totem that does something. Mine, I can just deal one damage to anything I want to. So, I think my play is going to be Spider Tank. What you want? So he's kind of flooding the board right now. He's trying to get war control. But my mech mage deck isn't really like everybody else's mech mage deck. I actually have my mech mage deck is kind of control like, so I'm not really worried about it too much. Um, we're gonna do something this. needs tinkering. And we get freezing minion. That's good. I am ready. Get a little bit of back. And that's a good one for him to have. Forgot about that healing guy right there. So what I need to do is let's see. I got my fireball here, but I only do six damage, and I won't have enough mana left over to hit him for one. So what I might do is this. And we'll, we'll fireball. Now we have the board control. We kind of turned around there, so. Now he's got a charge. Charge means that you can attack right away, so he's going to hit me in the face. Of course he is. That's okay, though, because I'll hit him. Hard. Oh, the freezing ones. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'll just play... Just say, let's play Spider King and Harvest Skull. Now nah, we're going to start going to war. It's another thing about Mech Mage is... All your, most of your mechs are pretty small and you can flood the board pretty quickly. So. I wonder what he's going to hit. Oh, Rock Bite. On himself. Oh. About making some smart moves, so. All right, so what am I gonna do? I'm going to raise up one thing. I'm standing around, and I'm gonna draw some cards. Okay, some pretty good cards to draw, and I'll put out. Hurry up! Hold on, by. Down. <laughs> I go on the boar into my harvest goal, probably. And spell damage. That was a weird move. But now he has a pretty good taunt. He's got the shield master. I'm going to. Hmm. Might want to do that. Split four damage, though. Let's do it. Let's, let's hope RNG is on our side. Got down to three. That's okay, because I can in here. That. That's good. And then... I want to... I don't trust leaving any spell damage totems up. I don't know what he's got in his hand, so. Oh, he gets another uh, one back anyway. Me. And there's another totem. And there's some wind. But you know, luckily for us guys, we've got a uh, fireball in our hand. And we got Ragnaros, too. Oh, boy. 
Well, we're just gonna, we're just gonna wreck him right now, so. go there's a quick play for you guys um i hope you enjoyed the video um please subscribe that'd be really awesome if you did and uh i'll see you guys next time all right remember guys keep gaming